A lot going on in this next segment. Jorge, I want you to listen closely, but I want everybody to listen closely because this is really cool, a first of its kind here in our community. A new film festival is kicking off this week in Charlotte, sort of. Giovanna Torres <laughs> is the executive director and co-founder of the Charlotte Latino Film Festival. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Kristen. Thank you for coming. Okay, I said sort of a new film festival. This is um, the Charlotte Latino Film Festival, but you've been doing a version of it for a couple of years now, right? Explain that we for me. We have. We have. We started in uh, January 2020, right before COVID, um, with the Cine Casual Film Series. So it was, it was a much smaller version of what we're going to be doing now this year. So we did it for three years. And now we're grateful to have the support of the Infusion Fund managed by the City of, uh, of Charlotte and Foundation for the, for the Carolinas and the North Carolina Arts Council. So it's going to be bigger and better this year. How did it go when it was a smaller sort of try it out kind of version? It went amazing. Yeah. We sold out our first screening. It was at Camp North in January 2020, right before COVID. And the momentum was amazing. And we've been lucky enough that we got through COVID. And we were able to put together two more editions after that. We finished the third one in September last year. And now we're ready for the Charlotte Latino Film Festival. We're so excited for you. Um, amping it up again, uh, leveling it up. Now you're at the Independent Picture House. Mm -hmm. And you have how many different films that you'll show? We have 11 from nine countries. From nine countries. Let's talk about that exposure for these filmmakers and why it is so important to have a film festival that really focuses on those Latino mm -hmm. co countries where um, sometimes we don't get those movies here. Yeah, distribution is tough for those films. Mm -hmm. um, and most of those films, as uh, we like to say, because it's true, you won't be able to see them on any streaming platforms. Um, maybe one or two mm -hmm. in a few years. Um, so this is like a, a FOMO uh, moment. Like yeah. you're gonna miss out if you don't come and it's just one screening per film. So you have to make wow. it. Oh wow, okay. And you have some East Coast premieres. Tell me about yeah. that. How'd you yeah. get so lucky to do that? Oh, we fought for them. We <laughs> fought it's for It's not luck, for it's, those. it's will, right? Yes, we want Charlotte to become a hub for Latin American film. Mm. So I fought the Miami Film Festival for, for one. Um, and, and it's going to be exciting because we also have, we're bringing uh, an actor from Puerto Rico who's going to be presenting one of those East Coast premieres here. Um, so that's Saturday, April 13th. So for people who aren't familiar, who is the actor? Why should we think yes, it's a big deal yes. that he's coming? So his name is Modesto Lacen. He's been doing theater and film for, for a while now. He's played Roberto Clemente, actually, ah. in theater and short film. So he, it's, it's going to be his first time in Charlotte. So we're really excited to welcome him. And he's also going to have a cafecito with us. So it's like a fireside chat with us at Salud Cerveceria on our last day. So he's excited to meet everyone. It's your chance to talk to him and get some maybe pointers on like acting. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. That is very cool. You know, you fought for this. You fought to have this be a bigger thing. You fought for the funding. You fought for these East Coast premieres. Why is that fight so important to you personally? It's for our community. Um, it's our way to, to uplift our community. It's a, a fast growing community here in Charlotte, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean we're excluding everyone, right? This is for, for everyone in Charlotte, come experience the cultures um, and, and it just feels like a family. I always say that, but it does. It feels like a backyard party. <laughs> what do people need to know about getting tickets? Because like you said, only one premiere for each movie. So it's they're going to sell out. Oh, yeah. 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 Opening night is already it's it's close to be sold out. OK, so I that's would get, this Thursday. By yes. The way. So I would get on that. Um, Charlotte Latino Film Festival dot com is the website. Okay. You can find all the information there. Also information on the accompanying experience, like the cafecito that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. We have a closing night party with live music by a local band. So it's going to be amazing. You and your team have worked very hard. You should be very Thank proud. You, it's just two of you. One and a half. In that team so <laughs> one and a half people that is a yeah. very small team and you've done very big work well thank done you. thank you i hope everybody checks it out i think we, yep all the information right here on your screen so go ahead and write that down or just go to our website later uh it'll all be there for you and you can get all the details do not sleep on those tickets though because they will go Giovanna, good to see you thank you for having me absolutely uh jorge there is a film from peru that is awesome yeah. not just like <laughs> not obviously not just the film from peru but i'm saying like all of the exposure to the Latin American countries uh, to have the actor here in yeah. Charlotte. What a great way to, you know, representation matters. What a great way to yeah. kind of expose that to our community. It's very, very cool. <laughs>